Greetings and salivations everyone, I'm Krista and welcome to Sea Red. Today is a Baby Yoda Territory video and I have a review of a new handmade plush to share with you, so stay tuned. And if you love Grogu and the Mandalorian as much as we do and you don't want to miss seeing our reviews, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Red. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Guys, today I have a review on a new handmade plush that I got off of Etsy. And yeah, I haven't even taken it out of the package yet. I took it out of the box, but I haven't opened it up and looked at it. So yeah, we're going to open it up, see if it looks like its picture, and give it a little review. Rate it on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, and of course I'll tell you how to get one if you want one of your own. The shop this comes from is called Issy K, and she's stickers and stitches. And this is a picture of what I ordered right here, so hoping that's what this looks like in the bag. So yeah, let's get right into it, open it up, and find out. First, I want to say I love shops that take care in wrapping their products and you guys know I definitely love shops that give little thank you cards so that's pretty cute it's just a thank you and that she appreciates the support of her Etsy shop and here is a hand drawn sticker as a thanks sincerely Issy K and guys look it's so cute this is the way and then it's got the arrows going both ways little Grogu's like what wait which, which way is the way <laughs> so that's really super cute I might actually put that on my laptop because, yeah, that's a really special sticker there. I did not see that she sold little Grogu stickers on her Etsy page. However, she does have other types of stickers on there. So, hey, Issy K, if you're going to make the little stickers to sell on your Etsy shop in the future, let me know so I can update the viewers on that. Okay, guys, let's open this little guy up and see if he looks like his picture right here. Ooh, I can tell you already he's soft. Yay. <laughs> I like soft. <laughs> oh, he's a little adorable guy. Oh, he's kind of cute. Ready, guys? There he is. So, yeah, he looks pretty much like his picture right here. Except for, I can say, first, right off the bat, the color is a little bit lighter than I expected. It's almost like a yellow green. It's more yellowish than greenish. But he has got a super cute face. Look at that little face. I love it. And his robe is super soft. Now he is made out of minky plush. And then his robe is fleece. He's got cute little hands there. No nails on the hands. But guys, yeah, you're ready? Does he got him? Does he got feeties? He's got feeties, and he's got cute little white nails on his little toes. So, yeah, maybe nails on the hands would be cute too, but then again, maybe not. I He's adorable. He's really super soft. He actually has polyfill and a, can feel in his butt there. He's got a little beanie butt, so he has the poly beads inside him as well. His entire face is not embroidered. I thought for some reason, just by the looks of the picture, that the nose and the mouth were embroidered, but they are not. They are the same little iron-on material that the eyes are, but super cute work on the eyes and face. Inside of his ears, they are white. They are not pink. So he's not technically a baby Yoda. He's what she calls a yodeling, which, yeah, Definitely, like little baby Yoda's third cousin. He's cute, he's adorable and soft. Height-wise, he is about 10 inches tall. So the description of him on Etsy says 10 to 12 inches. This one is 10 inches. I'm not sure if she would make others that if that would vary, but yeah, he's a little 10 inch tall plushy dude. Underneath his robe, he's just the little minky plush. He has no different color. One of the questions I always get on the plush dolls is, can you take the robe off? Guys, yes, you can take the robe off of this guy. It is not attached to him at all. So it does, his arms just slide out real easy. And then it just slides down off his body super easy. And then we got oh, 
put some clothes on there, dude. We got little Nikki yodeling there. So yeah, you could put other like doll clothes on him. Baby clothes wouldn't fit him. Definitely going to be way too big on him. Even Build-A-Bear clothes would probably be too big for him. Maybe some of the smaller stuff. Actually, that pineapple outfit that you saw Fisher in last week, yeah, that is actually a little bit small on Fisher, so it might actually look good on this dude here. Should we make you a pineapple there, buddy? <laughs> yes, yes, he thinks he should be a pineapple. Alright, so let me get him back in decent for you. Alright guys, I got his robe back on him. I may have put it on backwards. I couldn't tell the back from the front. Or it may be made just so that, yeah, you can actually put it on either way. It's got this little seam down the front, which leads me to believe that might be the back. But I kind of like it because it reminds me of the way his robe is. Or maybe it was that way when I'm watching the footage back. I'll find out, right, guys? <laughs> but yes, little Mr. Minky Plush is back in his robe. Now, guys, she does still have these available on her Etsy shop, so if you want to grab one, I will put the link to her shop and to this guy in the description of the video. Cost-wise, he is $30 plus shipping, so no free shipping on this dude, guys. Sorry about that. You know, I'm all about the free shipping, but... If you want this little guy, you will have to pay shipping for him. And, of course, on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, guys, I'm sorry, I know everyone's going to hate me, but he's not a totally rad to me. His color, just it's just off. He's cute. He's very cuddly. He's very well made. But his coloring there just kind of knocks him down just a little bit from that totally rad. Other than that, yeah, he's really cute and something unique that you can add to your collection if you'd like. So guys, what do you think of this little dude here? A nickname for him hasn't quite jumped out to me yet, but I'm sure one will in the near future. Actually, I might call him Salty because he's kind of the color of a margarita. You got the little salty rim across the top. Salty. Salty might be a good name for you, little dude. What do you guys think? Also, guys, you should check out some of her other plush dolls. She makes some really cute little dragons and unicorns and things like that. So, yeah, again, I will put the link to her Etsy shop and to this guy in the description of the video. I also have... I ordered something, guys, that I was kind of hesitant to order, but I'm waiting on that, and it's coming. It might be another month or so till it gets here, but yeah, wait till you see that one, guys. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more awesome and totally rad The Child Grogu and The Mandalorian reviews in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. Right, little dude? We'll see you later.